Okay, in today's class, we are going to do about Form 3, Science Revision Part 1. So, for this one, state the type of energy possessed. So, there's a lot of energy, correct or not? There are light energy, there are sound energy, gravity energy, um, someone got what energy? Electrical energy, and what? Handsome energy. Handsome is not an energy. But, so for this one, we call it as a elastic potential energy, okay? So this one will be elastic potential energy and for this one will be gravitational potential energy because elastic and inside here got energy, okay? It's stored inside here, that's why we call it potential. And gravitational potential energy because it's also gravitational but it's going up, the car is going down. So we call it gravitational potential energy. But some people confuse uh, um, potential energy means what? It means like the energy is stored inside. Okay, that's why we call it potential to do something. Right? You got potential is inside of you. Um, this is some example. Uh, I hope you can understand. Okay, so what? How to answer this question? Okay, the principle of conservation of energy state that energy may be transformed from one form to another form, but it cannot be created or destroyed. For example, a car moving possesses a kinetic energy. When moving car goes uphill, it slows down and stops because kinetic energy turns into gravitational energy. But the main thing that we want to learn in this thing is we call it conservation of energy means that energy cannot be created, cannot be destroyed, only can be transformed. Correct or not? Can you create energy from nothing? Means, if you say can, means you are God. You can create something from nothing. So energy cannot be created. Let's say I, I take the light, I, take, I turn on the torch light. You turn on the torch light because there is a battery inside. The electric energy turns to light energy can you destroy the light ain't light no more any long no the light energy will go on then got the heat energy it will vibrate but you say i cannot feel the heat of course you cannot feel the heat okay because it vibrate in a very small amount in the particle in the air so you cannot feel it but from this theory we know that it cannot be create it cannot be destroyed it only can change from one form to another form I hope you can understand that uh, you cannot destroy energy. Like I'm talking and then the sound will um, bounce on the wall and it will vibrate on the wall. The wall will vibrate, 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 vibrate. And it will keep on moving, moving, okay, until some interference happens, okay. But the thing, the energy cannot be destroyed, okay. The thing has to be destroyed. So, So for this question, for P and Q, label it. So basically, this question you just need to memorize. So for this one, is solar flare. For this is chromosphere. You just need to memorize, okay? There's no shortcut to do this question. Sometimes in science, you just need to memorize. So for this question, level P, uh, phenomena occur at the sun got impact. Correct or not? Whatever happened at the sun actually happened in fact on the earth. Like suddenly you got, uh, how to say, uh, suddenly you got drop, like suddenly it become very dry. Actually it's because of the sun, you know. Something happened to the sun that affect you. Or maybe always rain and rain and rain. It's because of the sun. Of course it's because of human. Uh, human do a lot of pollution, you got all the bad stuff, but sometimes also due to natural disaster, not natural disaster, is something happened in the sun that it will really um, affect us. Because if the sun is this big, your earth is like, like the tiny dot here on it. So something this big will affect like really something this small. So solar flare, what it will affect is it causes extreme drought, means no water. Very hot that the flare means the fire go up, correct or not? Solar flare can see. Maybe if I want to draw the earth, I think the earth will be at here. So I just draw the earth. The earth will be here. Correct or not? It's like the fire almost can burn. One fire coming up from the sun already can burn the whole earth. 
so it cause extreme drop. Solar wind is like the wind, but of course in the space you don't have wind, but there is a certain force from the sun outside, okay? So like solar wind. So it's like I don't know, like a wind and then it hit the earth. So solar wind will cause power outrage. Okay, it will affect the power outrage. Draw nicely. And sunspot causes compass to not be covered. Sunspot is the black dot. Now you can see the sunspot here. There's a sunspot here. So all these things will actually affect the weather on Earth. Sunspot. Sunspot. The black color ah, they say it's called sunspot where there is the least fire that is uh, burning ahead. It's um really, really unique. Okay. You can go to YouTube and learn more about the sun. Okay, so let's do the next question. So the next question number three, diagram to show a technician detecting water pipeline because the pipeline break already. Got water coming out. If water coming out, how you want, you, you don't know where the water coming out. Unless you dig the whole pipe. But you don't need to hit the dig the whole pipe. What they do is they put the radio isotope into the water. Then you they take the thing, got the sound, then they know here got a lot of water because the radio isotope, uh, all these things come out already. Correct or not? Here got leak. Uh, so all the things come out right here. Correct or not? A lot, a lot. Here got only, so you like hit, hit, hit. But when you reach here, it will hit, because you already put the radio isotope. So if you you'll be able to detect water leakage even though it is in the pipe. But now they are doing, but they, they also do this for human. They put the isotope into human because sometimes your blood vessel got stuck or cancer cell or what. So they put inside your body and they will use the scan, radio isotope scan. And let's say here got a lot of radio isotope means your blood here got problem, block already, here block or your head. Here the vessel block. So they will it's very high tech now. We can use this to apply to detect the leakage, or we can do it to human um, using other isotope, different isotope, and um, let you um, to detect it. So radio isotope, sodium, there's a lot of isotope. We got isotope sodium 24, iodine 131, and phosphorus 32. Half-life 15 days, 8 days, 15 days. Means that the half life is the time for it to be half. For example, sodium 24, after 15 days, the uh, radioactive will be reduced by, radioactivity will be reduced by half. Another, another 15. So 4 will become 2, 2 will become 1, 1 will become 0 0.5, 0 0.5 will become 0 0.25, 0 0.25 will become what, 1, 2, 0 0.125, is it? And it will go on, okay? So, AG, AGM counter is moved. This is the AGM counter, okay? Over the pipe, according to the layout plan, at a point, the GM counter detect high radiation level indicating the point of leakage, okay? So, t -t 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 -t, you know the sound. What is mean by half life? So this one is you need to memorize, okay? Half-life taken for the activity of radio isotope to become half of its value. So we need to read the question. The leakage of the water pipe is based on the reading of the rate meter connected to the detector. This is the detector, okay? The thing that, like a stick like that, okay? To detector use, the background reading is 50 pounds per minute. State how to identify the position where the liquor, uh, the leakage occurs based on the reading of the rate of meter produced. So basically, there is a, we call it the background reading. I don't think this is in your textbook. I don't think this is in your book. I'm not sure. Background reading means even though there is no leakage isotope, there is a certain uh, radio activity, very, very small amount. Maybe from the sun, maybe from the rock, or from the gravity of the earth. Means something will produce the, how do we call it, the red, uh, 
the radiation, something, but very, very, very little. Like your microwave, your handphone also produce radiation, but very, very little. So this background ground is background rating is let's say from the rock, it's already 50. But when you move in front, let's say you will get 100. So then you will know that the leakage happened. So let's read the question. How to identify the position of the leakage? The position of the leakage means the highest reading. Okay, so you just need to type the highest reading of the GN tube. Okay, so that will be the answer. Okay, so the GM tube rate meter reading record the highest. Okay, you just need to ignore the background radiation. But when you go to form 4, form 5, they will ask you what is the radiation. So let's say the radiation is 100, you need to use 100 minus 50 because 50 is not from the water, it's the background radiation from the rock, let's say. C. Based on table 1, state the suitable properties of radioisotope used to detect the leakage. Explain your reason based on half-life and penetrating. Why you want to use, uh, got three right, sodium, iodine, and phosphorus. Uh, which one we want to use for the half-life and the penetrating powder because some can very good. I mean that gamma ray, for example, it can penetrate even like um, a building. Okay, it's a, you know, penetrate tembusa, it can penetrate. So this one, you need to take, a, let's say, a one meter concrete to block it. Let's put here one meter concrete. Okay, why I cannot write? One meter concrete. Okay, so you need to, that's from the sun, for example. Okay, you need to take one meter concrete to block it. That's why when you stay up on the roof, you still feel very hot. Because even though you already block the sun, but your roof style is this thick on it. It cannot block the sun gamma ray. But if you reach down there, it's a one meter thick concrete, you don't feel hot. That's why I don't like to... Under hot sun also, I don't like to stay up. If, the, if my roof is just a roof tower, because actually it's not healthy. It makes your skin um, got wrinkle and faster get old. So in order to stay young like me, you need to take care of your skin and stay under, don't stay under the sun. And then we have the beta ray and uh, this beta ray, okay? Beta ray can penetrate uh, one millimeter of aluminum, okay? One millimeter of aluminum. Okay, so which one you want to explain your reason based on this property? So the answer will be the shorter time taken and penny, the half life will be shorter time taken. I mean, we don't want it to stay too long in the water. Because if it stays too long in the water, the person drinking it will be poisoned. But we can put it in the water because we know that every 15 days it will reduce, reduce, reduce until it is safe for you to drink. It's not healthy, but they just put a little bit and even though they just put a little bit, if you don't use it, they go to tanki after a while, it will just like disappear. It's not like disappear, but it will, the radiation will be half, okay? Half and then half and half until very, very little. So we want the, but we want it to be short because we want to use it for human, because people will drink the water, my friend or not. And the penetrating power will be strong. At least we want to penetrate the, the down one so we can see, okay? So until here for this video, I see you at part two video, part two video, see you next time.